class we're going to go over uh, section 4.3. Uh, yesterday we proved by side, 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 and side, angle, side. Today we're going to prove by angle, angle, side, and angle, side, angle. So the first one we're going to go through is angle, angle, side, or excuse me, angle, side, angle. All right, so if two angles and the side between those two angles are congruent in one triangle to another triangle, then the triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle. So if I look at this uh, postulate, we're going to prove which one of these triangles is true by angle, side, angle. So in order for us to do it, we need congruent angles. So we have 32 and 32. We have 57 and we have 57. So we have two angles that are congruent. So now we need the side between those two angles to be congruent. Well, if I look at it, well, this right here would be true. Okay, so this side, 10, is equal to this side, 10. So it's angle, side, angle. That's good. But here we have angle, angle, side. So we can't use angle, side, angle for this one. So we wouldn't use this one. Check this one out, 57, 57, 32, 32, 10, and 10. So we have angle, side, angle as well. So my two triangles that would be congruent would be ABC, this triangle here, and then OM, OMA would be congruent to one another. Our other one is angle, angle, side. So if we have two angles that are congruent and the non included side, then we can prove it true by angle, angle, side. So we go here, we want to prove, uh, we want to prove, how can we prove that triangle SRP, SRP is equal to QRP, how can we prove this triangle is equal to that triangle? Well, let's go through the information given to us. So first, angle S is equal to angle Q, so we mark that. These two angles are congruent. Then we say RP bisects SRQ. So RP, this line here, bisects SRQ, this angle. So what does that mean? If it bisects, it means it cuts in half. So those angles are congruent. So if you look at it, right now we have an angle, angle. Now, is there any other angle that we could com prove congruent or another side that we could prove that's congruent? Well, if you look at it, and so we'll go through our given. How do I know that this stuff is true? It's given to me. So, again, how do I know that SRP is equal to QRP? Well, it's the definition of an angle bisector. So now if I look at it, I have a side or angle, angle. If I look at it, see this side right here, PR and PR? How do I know that PR or RP is equal to RP? Well, that's the uh, reflexive property at play. So now I have angle, angle, side. So now I can prove that triangle SRP is equal to triangle QRP by angle, angle, side. You go to this one. Uh, we're going to go through how can we, what's given to us. Again, we know that uh, these two lines are parallel, X, Q and X, uh, is parallel to TR. We know that XR, XR bisects QT. So bisect means to cut in half. So we know that part is equal to that. We said our lines are parallel, so we mark that. So now we go through. Again, we start with what's given to us. It bisects it, so we know that that's true. How would I know that angle Q is equal to angle T? Well, if I have two parallel lines, so again, look at parallel lines, right? What type of angles are those? Those are alternate interior angles. So we know that they're true, they're, they are good by alternate interior angles. Next, how do I know that QM, um, QM is equal to MT? Well, they bisect each other, so that would be the definition of an angle or a bisector, all right? And then lastly, how, so we could choose a lot of things, but X and Q, how do I know that this angle and this angle are equal? Well, if they cross and they're opposite of each other, those are vertical angles. So we could say that it's vertical. So if you look at, we have, side, we have, if we went here, we have angle, angle, and then we went side. So we go, it's true by angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side. You could do it couple different ways. We proved it true this angle, this angle, and a side. We went this angle, this angle, and a side. So angle side, angle, angle side is actually what I changed that to. So 
That is our two proofs for today. So we have angle side angle where our side that's included is between our two angles and angle angle side that where the side is not included between those two angles.